you guys were on time and I was the one that was a little bit uh, off here today. So um, I appreciate it. I know this is a little bit of a change up for you, but uh, bye week, coming off a of bye week is obviously a little bit different and unique. So um, not that you're way ahead, but we, we kind of we, we'll go out today and we'll practice like a normal Tuesday. So it's a little bit different. Um, everybody always asks about the bye weeks that they're, they're, you know, sometimes you'd say they come at a perfect time. And then sometimes you say it's, it's really different. Bye weeks are what they are, right? It, it's an opportunity. Um, you, you put a plan in place before the season starts, not, you know, trying and, and thinking that you want to change a whole lot based on where you are with the, with, you know, with a bye week. Um, but it's an opportunity for, for a couple things to, to kind of, you know, self scout yourself a little bit, get back to the basics of some of the things that you got to do moving forward and, and recognizing what, uh, what you got to be able to do. And for us, it was, you know, another opportunity for, for Braden Locke to, to get a lot more reps now that, uh, you know, we, we were in the situation where Tyler is done for the year. So in, in some ways it came at a, at a good point for that, you know, it's a tough thing to sit on, you know, from two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, um, you know, what sits in your stomach from, from you know, how you played in some situations like that that you want to get back out there and play. Uh, but that's a part of growing and, and getting over those things as well. So um, it came at a good time for some of those things. You know, people say you get healthy during a bye week. I don't know that you get healthy. You get a little bit fresher, I think, more than anything in, in guys' minds, both players and coaches, and if used in the right way. Um, and I think we did. I think we did that. I thought we you know, were able to get away a little bit. Guys went out and recruited a little bit, which you know, can sometimes get your mind right um, as you get back in here and get rolling. But uh, now it's, a, it's, it's Monday, but it's a Tuesday as we get rolling here for, for, uh, for USC week. Luke, I don't know if you've had time to think about this or talk about this, but Tyler would have another year, presumably. Would your hope be that you we haven't sat and year? talked with him yet. Obviously, there's been a lot of things that have happened really fast. You know, you could say the same things about James Thompson. Um, these situations happen. You're in the midst of a season. I think uh, guys got to be able to process themselves, you know, what, where they are and what they're doing. And then, and then we'll sit down and definitely talk with Tyler. We'll definitely sit down and talk with the James Thompson. And, you know, it, it, it is what it is, right? And, and you see where they are and, and where you are. But I know this, that, you know, we love Tyler and we love what he's done. And um, hopefully if there's an opportunity that, would, that uh, you know, he wants to come back, that we would have that, you know, he would have that chance. And, and, and uh, obviously we'll put a plan in place for that. And that's, that's the way we'll go about it, obviously, with his rehab and making sure that, you know, he, he is in our thoughts because he had surgery today. Um, but he'll, he'll be in our plans as well. Uh, Luke, you've kind of uh, alluded to uh, leaning maybe more on the you know, offensive line at you know various points, or uh, I think that was based on kind of what you talked about. Um, I guess I want to get an idea of kind of what that might look like. I mean, we can assume it might be more of a run game thing, but I don't know. What's kind of twenty-two personnel look like the old? No, I, I think we've always kind of thought going into the season that that uh, you know you had some guys back up front there that you know you had a lot of confidence in, and you wanted to be able to lean on those guys. And so I don't know that it changes a whole lot. Um, you still want to be able to lean upon those guys uh, in a lot of the things that we've done, and and we've done that I think a little bit more in the first few weeks. Uh, you know, we've we've been pretty efficient in, in running the football, and you know maybe it hasn't been as explosive as we'd like. But um, we went into the year and the season thinking about relying upon those guys and leaning on those guys heavily, and um, you know we'll, we'll continue to do that. And what that really looks like, I don't know that it's like a wholesale difference, right? I don't know that it's gonna, you know, that you're built to say, okay, all of a sudden you're gonna look like the old Wisconsin. Um, but it doesn't mean that those guys don't play a bigger role. They don't. They don't build the confidence to what we're doing, and they're the strength of, you know, of who we are. It was like that, you know, last year. That was like that, you know, six weeks ago, and it's still like that today. Luke, you mentioned getting a lot of reps for Braden. How have you seen him kind of step up in the last week? Because he was obviously disappointed in camp when it went the other way for him in that competition. But how have you seen him kind of embrace this challenge and this new role for him? Well, I think it's leadership. I think that, you know, some guys think that when they're not the guy that their leadership role has changed. But, you know, I tried to explain that as, as you go in, in that room in particular, that every quarterback's a leader in his own way. And, uh, you know, now it's changed a little bit, meaning that, you know, you got to walk out there, you're in front of that first huddle. Um, so maybe it's a little bit different, but it still wasn't different than what, you know, you were when you started camp when you were battling. It wasn't. It shouldn't be much different than you were when you know later in camp when you know Tyler was named the starter. Um, it just is in front of a different group, right? And and whether you're, 
you know, you were, you know, doing that some some way somehow with the twos and a lot of times against the one defense. Now you're doing that with that first group and 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 he had done that a lot. I think that's where if you go back and say all the spring football, those guys rolled with the ones and twos. It wasn't like, you know, really it was Tyler's job and, and he was rolling with the ones, but it was still a competition. It was they were balanced reps with with both sides, um, with both the ones and the twos. And so, as you look at it now, that was probably a really good thing, uh, and it gave him a lot more opportunities to be around those guys. What areas during the bye week uh, defensively have you identified as areas you think maybe they can take some strides forward going into Big Ten play? Well, it's still developing the de- depth up front. Um, you know, the, finding ways to continue to be more aggressive. I mean, it, the game comes down to making plays, and. That's where we've got to continue to to find it. And it's not like something you can scheme up every single, you know, week to say, hey, this is where we're going to make a play. This is how we're going to get a sack. This is how we're going to cause a fumble. It, you know, it's guys continue to build confidence. Guys playing fast. This guys playing aggressive. This guys winning. And so you, you kind of you don't want to get into that mode where everything's got to be perfect. And now we got to design some new defense. And this is what we've got to be able to do to to make a play out here. And this is what we got to be able to do to 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 make a play on a deep ball. Like, you know, it, it's about doing the things, the ordinary things, really, really well. And um, so, you, you kind of that's one of those things with a buy. You, you got to have some balance to not thinking that you can wholesale and, and make different changes that are going to create different things, as opposed to building more confidence in the things that you do. Just how valuable was the experience that Braden got last year in a similar situation? And <clears throat> what kind of confidence did how well he did last year give you that confidence going forward? Well. That, along with a lot of spring football, with a lot of winter conditioning, meaning, you know, your ability to lead, your ability to to become a part of that group, and I mean that offensive line group that we, you know, obviously lean upon heavily um, through fall camp and things like that. Yeah, so so a lot of his experiences give him, me, and, and a lot of the guys around him, um, you know, a lot more confidence because he, you know, he was thrust into some really tough situations even last year. And. Um, so I, I, all those things kind of work together. I think that it also gives you a better idea of you know what you what you need to do, how you need to adjust because of you know the strengths that he has, and uh, so that'll give us an opportunity. That's what you know sometimes a little bit of the bye week you know give you a chance to kind of hone in, focus in on recognizing the things that maybe you know can be a little bit different based on what what he does and and, and what Tyler did. Um, but more more than anything, it, it's, it comes down to him. It comes down to him having those experiences of playing, getting thrust into an Iowa game, and then going and playing against an Ohio State, and um, preparing the way that he had to prepare to play, and um, puts him right back into that position. Luke, when you're building something, how much, if at all, do you look at the teams around you in the conference and? Compare yourself to them or measure. Is that is that does that even enter your thought process? Well, you, you, you got to be careful. Um, twofold, it can it can <laughs> make you more worried in, in different things. But I think you're always trying to learn from how people are doing things, right? This is a this is a changing landscape, and the idea of building and the, the idea of you know creating and developing the program, um, I think today is is a little bit different, and. What does that mean different wise? We don't really know because it's still evolving in the landscape. Uh, but you are you are recognizing, you are seeing. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can study at this point in time. Um, you know, it, being early in the year and, and having to focus on yourself. Um, but you do take notice. And, and you even take notice uh, at the things maybe you didn't notice as much when the season, before the season started, whether it was last January and how people went about some of the things that they were doing. And then how does that look and how is that working um, in the landscape that we have now. So uh, you don't have a ton of time, but if you aren't studying and you aren't looking ahead, then, then you're falling behind.